Hey, what's going on you guys? My name's Joseph Tubb and today I'm going to show you guys how to make paper templates for your guitar. So I've had this question asked a number of times on where do I get my templates? So just to let you guys know, I actually make my own templates uh, and you can too. Now this is going to require the use and knowledge of using Photoshop and I'm going to make this tutorial very simple to where all you need to know is understand just a couple commands and I'll explain them as I go. But just so you can see the advantages of making guitar, as you can see here, I have a Strat. What's nice about this is I can print this out and use the body and the proportions to go ahead and lay my design out. And I have a couple uh, examples here I'm going to show you. Uh, but what's nice about this is instead of you know going through the whole prep process of getting your guitar ready, you know, and not really knowing exactly what you want to draw onto the onto the guitar, you can kind of use a paper template to get your idea out and kind of lay it out uh, onto some paper. I lost my mouse here, and this is uh, you know another example of doing this. And uh, here's some more examples. And so this kind of helps you to position your design the way that you want it to be before you actually go and commit to doing this. Um, and it also kind of gives you an idea just to play around a little bit. And this design's familiar, you guys have seen this on the uh, the guitar series. And, uh, and then there's just another template. So what makes this really easy is that you can use essentially an image online or you can take a photograph of your own guitar. And so what I've done is I just go online and I grabbed a guitar Typically, you want to look for a high-res photo just to make your to make this process easier. Um, to where you know you can zoom in, you can see some detail. Uh, don't worry about the uh, the pixelation. This will work for what we need. the The key thing here is if you get an image like this, the white background helps a lot, and I'm going to show you why. So the first step that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go ahead and unlock this back layer. Um, and the simple way is just double click on it and just click OK. The next part we're going to do is we're going to remove this white background. The simplest way to do that is using the magic erase tool. You might have, if you open Photoshop for the first time, you might have just like the eraser. If you click and hold, you'll see you'll have three options. Just go ahead and select the magic erase tool. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and click on the white background and you'll see that it removes all of the white, um, the white pixels. And uh, so now we're left with the, you know, just the guitar. And so this makes this a lot easier. Uh, and you'll see why in just a minute. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and crop this image. Uh, now the crop tool is right here. The reason, it, the reason why we're going to do that is because we only need to focus on the body of this guitar. So we're just going to go ahead and crop out everything else that's not uh, important. So now we have just the guitar body. So now the next step is we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a new layer. What we're going to do with this new layer is we're going to go ahead and create a mask outline of this guitar. Now the simplest way to do this is to make a selection of this guitar and then do a fill. So a really cool trick and something really simple to do to do this is if you hold the command key or if you're on a Windows computer, I believe it's the control key, go ahead and select this guitar thumbnail image. And what you'll see immediately is this kind of dashed line going around your selection. And what that's telling you is that you've made a selection and it's outlined this guitar. So go to your new layer and we're going to use the paint bucket and chances are if it's the first time you're opening Photoshop, you're going to see this. Go ahead and click and hold and select the paint bucket. And then what we're going to do is we're going to fill this with white. So down here uh, you'll see your colors if you hit the arrows or if you hit the X on your keyboard you can switch back and forth between foreground and background colors. So we're going to use white and we're going to fill that selection in. So now what we've done is we've essentially created a white masked out guitar. So we're going to add an effect to this. We're going to go ahead and double click on that layer, uh, layer one, and we're going to go down to stroke. And you'll see immediately there's a black line that goes around the whole guitar. And we're going to beef that up. We're going to beef it up to five. And we're going to click OK. 
And the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll in here. Don't worry about all these like anomalies. Uh, these are just pixels. Um, and I can show you guys a way to fix them, but just to keep the sake of this video short, um, we're going to not worry about those types of things. So what I'm doing here is I'm going in and I'm erasing out these uh, neck strap holders uh, because they're just, they don't need to be here. They're not necessary. So we're just gonna go ahead and erase them out. And we're just using the regular erase eraser tool. Okay, so the next thing is we're gonna do, we're gonna eliminate essentially the bulk of this neck. And the best way to do that is use the marquee tool up here, select the rectangle, and we're going to Kind of make a selection, hit the delete key. Uh, and don't worry about seeing the guitar in the background. So that's pretty much it for the basic shape of this guitar. The next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and map out these components, the, uh, the pick guard and things like that because essentially what you're gonna be designing for is the red area of this guitar. So you need to know where these areas line up so that um, your design comes out the way that you want it to. So this is a simple thing to do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new layer, and I think I didn't explain how to do that, but down here there's a little square next to the trash can. Go ahead and select that, and it'll create a new layer. So the next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna use the paintbrush tool. And the paintbrush tool is located right here. And we're going to scale it down. So we're gonna change the size. This is a simple way to do it up here. You can click this drop arrow. Or if you hit the bracket keys on your keyboard that are located next to the P, those two bracket keys will adjust the size of the paintbrush. So a simple way to do this is actually just go ahead and oh, make sure your opacity is at 100. That would help for me. And also we want the hardness to be set to 100. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to adjust our paintbrush so it's about the same size as the pickup here. So what I've done is I've clicked, I've, I've clicked with that. Now if you hold the shift key and you line your paintbrush up to the other side and then hold the shift key and click again, you'll see that it draws kind of a straight line all the way across. And we're gonna do that same thing for here. Click, hold the shift key now, and then click again. And you'll see that it makes a continuous line. And we're gonna go ahead and do that same step for these little dials. We're just gonna go ahead and kind of clear them out. Now the reason why I'm doing this is if in the situation that maybe you wanna design out, uh, you know, you want the design to go out onto your pick guard. Um, and that's, you know, that's kind of, that's normal too. So what I've done here is I've moved the layer above and we're gonna go ahead and turn on our main body, guitar, our main body layer. We're gonna add an effect onto our layer two. We're gonna add another stroke and we're going to essentially make the stroke on this a little bit smaller. And this is due to the fact that the first brush stroke that I put on there had the, the hardness not set. So we're just gonna delete that out and we're gonna go ahead and redo that. So click and then we click. Okay, so now what we have here is we have the basic body of this guitar and we have the location of the items that are on the pick guard. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and lay out where that pick guard is. So we're gonna go ahead and turn these layers off. We're gonna create another layer, layer three. We're gonna put that one at the top. And this one is, th doing this layer is fairly simple. What we're gonna do is we're going to use the lasso tool. Now, what's nice about Photoshop is there's about, you know, a million ways to do the same thing. Um, this is the way that I do it, and it makes it a lot simple. It's really easy. So what you do is you're just going to essentially follow the outline of this pit guard. And you could use the magnetic lasso tool if you have a really high-res photo, and what it will do is it will follow the shape or the change um, in pixel. Map all this out. And you don't have to be absolutely perfect. This is just to give you the general idea and proportions of your guitar when you are going to you know, lay your design out. And what makes this an extremely helpful tool is 
that you can bring this back into the computer. If you're computer savvy, you can enhance it. If you have a full-size plotter, you can you know do your basic design, print it out, and then rescale it, and then plot it to the same size as the guitar, and then you know transfer your design from the paper directly onto your guitar, so you don't have to redraw something twice. So you know this is a really useful and can be somewhat of a powerful tool just to go ahead and get your basic concept of what you want to draw out. So I'm just you know following the basic shape of this pick guard and we're almost home. Now the thing to understand about the lasso tool is what it does is it's, it creates uh, line segments and uh, so these line segments are very straight so you know by keeping the your clicks or your points that you've clicked close to each other will make the you know selection a little bit more smooth all right so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and fill this selection so we're gonna use the the paint bucket make sure we have white and we're gonna go ahead and make that selection and then we're going to add a stroke on it and we're gonna make this one two and we're gonna turn on the other layers and the thing is we need to have layer two sit on top of layer three so we can get the layout of the components so now if we go ahead and turn this off so now we pretty much have the layout of this guitar the one more, the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you know get the jack and the bridge set up here masked out so that we know where those are lining up so as another way that you can do this is you could either use the lasso tool or we're gonna create another layer or you can use the paintbrush and essentially just kind of fill it in. And you know, if you're not wanting to be absolutely perfect and precise, uh, you can actually use the paintbrush for the whole thing. You know, go back with the eraser tool and just kind of clean it up. And now I'm not using any kind of a tablet or a mouse. I'm actually on a laptop using the trackpad. So this shows you how easy um, this process can be. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, you know, uh, we're going to create a selection around that and we're going to fill this up and we're going to go back to the eraser tool. Now the eraser tool works the same way with, you know, if you hold the shift key and you make two clicks, uh, you essentially create a straight, uh, straight line. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and add the stroke effect around this layer as well. And then we're going to turn all the layers back on and we'll turn off this back layer. And then the last thing that we're going to do is, well, I guess we could map this out uh, right here where the neck of the guitar is. So if we turn that on and we turn this layer off, you can see that there's where the neck of the guitar comes in. Uh, again, that's, you know, fairly simple. All we have to do is we'll use the lasso tool and what we'll do here is we'll actually follow where the pick guard is, turn on our main layer here, and we're just going to go ahead and delete that section out. And we'll clean up these areas here. And we'll clean that up. So now when we turn this off, now we have a we have the body of the guitar, the pick guard, and the layout or the general location of the other components. So then the last thing you need to do is go ahead and save this. Well, in fact, we're gonna go ahead and set this up. If you go to your, your image size, you can go ahead and adjust the page size to fit you know your standard size printer. Um, in fact, this actually works out perfect for me. Eight and a half, uh, you know, eight by ten, so fit on eight and a half by eleven. Uh, otherwise, what you'd want to do is just go ahead and adjust it. Make sure that you keep your lock on. So this way, if we go ahead and change it, so we want, you know, we want it to fit on a basic eight and a half by eleven. If I put in eight point five, what it does is it automatically scales the height to match that proportion. I click OK, and it readjusts the size but not distorting the proportions of the guitar. 
Uh, that way you can you know draw, print your design back in, and you can stretch, not stretch, but you can enlarge the image to fit the actual size of the guitar. Now, if you really want to get in here and you want to clean these, you know, these little bumps up, those are caused by, um, you know, little anomalies, pixels that you, you're not necessarily seeing. So if you turn on the eraser, you can go in and we can clean those out. Oops, don't want to cut that much out. So, and you can do that all the way around the body. All right, so the last step you're going to need to do is you're going to need to save this out. And we're going to go ahead and save it as a JPEG. And we'll just leave it as a fender strut. And we're going to click OK. File size looks good. And then we're going to go and see our image. So there you go. So now we have a guitar template that was derived from this image. And we have all the important information that we need to know if we want to paint you know, the body or uh, also bring our design onto the pick guard. And this way we can see you know, where not to put like focal features of our design so we're not you know, putting something really important right in this location of the guitar. Uh, because we know that there's, you know, the pe the pick guards here, or sorry, the the jack of the guitars here. So you don't want your design to get cut off when you put all these components back together. So that's pretty much it. I hope this was easy to understand. And if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. You know, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.